When moving to Utah from another state, these are the top five things that you need to know before you make that move. I get to have conversations every single day with people that reach out to me right here for my YouTube channel because I love helping people discover all things Utah, especially real estate here when they're considering making the move. I love having these conversations and I'd love to find out what questions people have. And obviously so many people have different questions depending on where somebody's moving from. But in this video right here, I'm covering the five most important things you need to know when you're relocating to the state of Utah. So you're relocating, or at least you're considering making a move to Utah. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Steele, and I'm a local real estate agent, and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice if you're considering making that move yourself. You can call me, text me, email me anytime. You can find that information in the description, or you can click my link right here in the pinned comment on this video and book a call with me, and I can answer all those questions right out of the gate. Now, obviously, in these videos, I can't have a personal conversation with you particularly, but I certainly can cover the things that I see recurring over and over again, things that people want to know when they're relocating to Utah. I've had so many conversations, hundreds, if not a thousand or more, with people that have made the move here to Utah. And I draw so much information just from those conversations, and I summarize them right here on my YouTube channel. So if this is the type of content that resonates with you, it will help you tremendously, and I'd love to be that resource. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get started with the top five things that you need to plan for and know ahead of time if you're making that move. Number one is pretty obvious, depending on where you're coming from, and that's weather variability. It's no secret that we get cold winters, we get snow, we also get hot summers. You've got to know what to expect when you're moving here. If you're looking to live in a region, depending on where you're going, that has a more severe winter, for example, you're going to want to make sure that you're prepared and maybe buying a home that doesn't have a north-facing driveway, other things that you might want to consider when choosing a place to make home, or you might want to prepare yourself in terms of what vehicle you drive. You might want snow tires or all-wheel drive or even four-wheel drive, depending on where you're choosing to live. It really just boils down to being prepared and making sure that you have the right gear depending on where you live. Number two on the list is the cultural influence here in Utah. I believe that we're kind of a peculiar people here and maybe a lot of people in the past thought maybe it wasn't the right spot for them because they thought maybe we have a little bit different of a cultural scene here, but in all honesty, it's changed so much in the last 10, 15 years, especially over these last five years as we've seen in incredible growth right here in the state. It's made this place more culturally diverse. However, the roots of our value system and our core values of people who typically live here, it's family friendly. It's something that I believe is a friendly state to live and most people give that feedback. So I'm hoping that whatever experience yours is, I hope that it's a good one and I hope that you find great neighbors and great people to interact with because I've experienced that myself. But then again, I'm from here, but I'm basing this off of conversations with others that have made the move. Number three on the list is outdoor lifestyle. If you're not into the outdoors, you might want to consider getting a little bit into it and maybe dipping your toes in the water and try out hiking or or mountain biking or something of the sort. And in all honesty, if you can and you're able, you've got to try snowboarding and skiing if you haven't already. But this state revolves around outdoor activities. The culture, the businesses, everything plays into that. And I personally love it. And I think most people that move here certainly come here for that reason alone. But not only that, even if you're not an outdoor enthusiast, every morning when you get in your car and you drive to work and you look out that window and you see those beautiful snow-capped Rocky Mountains right in front of you, you'll certainly appreciate the outdoors and hopefully it will encourage and motivate you to maybe just even go explore just a little bit. All right, number four on the list is related to altitude. The altitude is different. It's higher here. You might feel a shortness of breath, but there's a couple of things that I really want to touch on, and that is staying hydrated and more importantly, skincare. We have a higher rate of skin cancer in Utah, I believe. I can't verify this, but I think we're one of the worst places in the country, and it's due to the higher elevation here. So it's all the reason more to protect yourself with proper sunscreen and make sure that you're taking care of your skin because when you live in a higher altitude city, you have to take that into account. And overall, I think most people that experience that altitude sickness when they do come here, after about three to four weeks, it's a non-issue anyway. So those effects don't really linger for long term with most people, but you might want to consider that when taking that into account when you're moving to Utah. And last but not least, number five, it's my wild card. And I wanted to talk about the scenic landscapes here in Utah in 
a little bit different way than I normally do. I have had hundreds of conversations with people that have moved to Utah that have not experienced the landscapes here. It doesn't mean that you have to be an avid snowboarder or skier or mountain biker to appreciate the outdoors here, but you should take advantage of the scenic beauty and the diverse landscape that we have. Take a drive out to the Bonneville Salt Flats or maybe check out Antelope Island at a sunset, but by all means, make a trip to Southern Utah and go check out those five national parks, especially Zion and Arches National Park. They're my two favorites. However, there are so many places to check out outside of the national parks that are just breathtaking and honestly unworldly. Fantasy Canyon, for example, is unbelievable. Even though it's really small, it's something you'll never see anywhere else in the country. And I think as a Utah transplant, it's pretty important to gain an appreciation for the beautiful landscape that we get to experience each and every day. I think, however, more often than not, it's not the transplants that take that for granted. It's actually the locals. But I'm hoping to inspire more and more people to go check out the different things that there are here in the state. In fact, I created a video with my bucket list of the top 50 things to do in Utah. I think you should check that video out and try knocking off at least a handful of those each and every year so that you too can experience Utah and everything that it has to offer. It's crucial to research the specific region where you look to make a move because every region can be uniquely different. And in my opinion, it's these nuances and these distinct differences from one area to another that make Utah such a rich place to live. Additionally, visiting the state and planning your visit ahead of time is something that I think is incredibly helpful. If you'd like to have that conversation, book a call with me in the link that you'll find in the pinned comment on right here on this video, and we can have a conversation. I can answer all of your questions and plan your trip here to Utah to make sure that you check out everything that you need to consider based on your unique situation. And it's this planning and these answers to your questions that are going to give you valuable insights as to what is important to you and help you find the perfect spot. Then after Afterwards, once you've returned home, I'm your resource. I'm your boots on the ground. I will show you the homes. I will show you the different areas and communities to make sure that you're seeing right here through video exactly what it is you're looking for. And I love doing these video tours for properties as people are shopping for a home because it gives you a really unique and professional insight as to what you're going to experience in that home when you're actually getting down to the point where you're purchasing a home. And from personal experience, most agents just aren't equipped to do this at a high enough level to really help you understand what the feeling is and the floor plan of each home. So in summary, if you're relocating to Utah or you're considering making that move, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. Hit me up. You can find my information in the description below or in that pinned comment. And until the next video, thanks.